time for the video today. I'm your host, Greg. It is a pleasure to be back with you. Um, I haven't done these in a while because my old phone went down the tubes. It was a toilet. It was a sewer. It was broke, okay? <laughs> um, no, um, when we had gone fishing, I did a video of the uh, fishing trip we took, and uh, we went fishing. Fly, I got him. Should have been in my truck. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, when we took that fishing trip, I had set my phone on top of the car. And it rode there. And we pulled out onto the main road, and my stepson, Tristan, turned around, he looked, he goes, something just flew off the car. Oh, oh yeah, where's my phone? Where's my phone? So we turned around, we went back, and there was my phone laying in the middle of the road. Nobody hit it. It was fine. And I picked it up, and it worked, so I was good. Well, then, I got out here on the road, and uh, it was in my pocket, and I was running across the fuel islands, and I jumped over a puddle, a water puddle. Well, when I jumped over that puddle, the phone fell out and landed in the puddle. Well, I picked it up. I dried it off, it was working fine, and all of a sudden, I touched the screen, and it wouldn't do anything. So, I had no access to my screen. Well, eventually, my screen went to all bars across it. It had bars across the screen, so I couldn't even read the screen. And uh, eventually, it just quit working altogether. So I ran inside, I bought some rice, I put it in a Ziploc bag I had here in the truck, threw my phone in it, got up the next morning, it wouldn't even come on. So, I was telling somebody about it, and they said, put it on a charge. So, I put it on a charge, and it came on. It worked. But I couldn't see the screen. So, anything that I had to do to access the, you know, that I had to access the screen to do it, I couldn't do it. I figured out a way through my Bluetooth where I could access it. I could even text because I could, I could push the button, and I could say, text Anita. Okay, my wife. And it would come through and it would say, you know, what do you want to say? And I would I would say what I wanted to say. So, okay, you ready to send it? And I'd say yes, and it would send it. I could also hit the button and say, call Anita. And it would call him. So, it was working. I took it to a friend of mine. He looked at it. He said, it's the screen, definitely. Well, he took it. Changed the screen. Still wouldn't work. Wouldn't work at all at that point. Wouldn't even come on. So he messed with it and tried to get it working, couldn't get it working. So I had to have another phone. Well, I took it in to the company that we have our phones through, and uh, they said that the screen was bent. Now, I don't think the screen would have got bent from dropping it in the water. I think the screen probably got bent when I dropped it, when it fl flew off the back of the truck. So it was dead. And I was not going to pay $200, which was a $200 deductible, to get another phone. I didn't have $200. So, we figured a way. My wife went into the store and talked to the guy. And they figured a way for me to get a new phone. And I got a new phone. So, now I've got my phone. I've got my uh, iMovie on here so I can make my movies. Um, i got to redo the intros, but that's okay. But anyway, um, now that I've babbled on for four minutes about my damn phone, <laughs> I was watching on Facebook this morning, and, and this has really bothered me because I've seen it before on Facebook. I seen a little, I seen a little picture that had if the Titanic sunk today, and it had all the people in the lifeboats with their cameras out, you know, holding them up, you know, recording the sinking of the Titanic. And you know that that's, that's really it's so true. It is so, so true. Because you watch two people beating each other. I mean, they're beating the snot out of each other. It's just, you know, two people at random. They had a disagreement, so they got in a fist fight. And instead of somebody stepping in to try and prevent the fight, everybody's got their phones out and they're recording it. I watched one. It was in a school, obviously. And these two girls, two teenage girls... Both African American descent. Not to say anything bad against African Americans. Please don't, please don't put that in there. But they're they're 
there were two African American girls, and the one girl, I don't know what, when they when they take their hair and they kind of make it like little coils. She had her hair in coils. The other girl just had her by the hair, and she was swinging her around and punching her. And finally, it looked like maybe a teacher or somebody, you know, an adult, um, stepped in to break it up. Okay. She can't break it up. These two girls are swinging around her and, and trying to hit each other, and she's in the middle of it. And she's trying to break them up. Nobody stopped to help this poor woman. She's trying to stop this fight before these two girls hurt each other. And, and in the background, you could see it looked like it was on the second floor because you could see the windows. And it was it was on the second floor. It was up off the ground anyway. To where if one of those girls would have went through that window, she'd have been dead. She'd have hit the ground. She'd have died. No question about it. Finally, a couple of people come in and try and help the girl separate them. And that's where the video ends. How can you stand there while somebody's getting the snot beat out of them and not do anything? And just record it. It's so stupid. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. How do you guys feel about it? How do you guys feel about it? Okay. What do you guys think about stuff like that? Leave a comment for me down in the comments column. Okay. Um, but that's, that's the thing I wanted to cover in the video of the day today. Um, you know, stand there and record it. Just stand there and, and, and record it and, and let it go on. Um, I see another video. Uh, I think it was called um, Shootout at the Car Wash. These two guys are shooting at each other. Some guy's there with his phone recording the whole thing. Nobody's calling nine. Hey, you got a phone. Call 911, you idiot. These two idiots are shooting at each other. And you might think, well, that's no big deal. They're shooting at each other, not shooting at me. How do you know a straight bullet's not going to hit you, bonehead? All that stuff just irritates me to no end. Now that I've babbled on for over seven minutes, I'm going to shut up. And I'm going to remind you once again to feel free to share this. It's on my YouTube page. Feel free to share this with anybody and everybody. Get the message out. The crazy truck driver, Greg, has got the video of the day, and he's been gone for a few weeks, but now he's back. Well, no, I won't be doing them every day, but I'll be doing them from, from time to time like I was before. The crazy truck driver, Greg, is back. Watch the video of the day. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see ya!